Next is number four. This is Mahonia aquifolium. Uh, Oregon grape is the common name. You also might see it in uh, Berberus aquifolium because uh, taxonomists tend to switch and group things uh, differently depend on uh, how they interpret the data. You got lumpers and splitters. That's a talk for another day. Okay, so Mahonia aquifolium is actually the, uh, this is the uh, state flower of Oregon. It is native to uh, the Pacific Northwest. And if you're out for a hike, it's one that you'll certainly commonly see. This is uh, how it, it is typically found. You can see that it has these large uh, cane-like growth. It often has very sparse branching. Okay, so you see a lot of stems here and uh, relatively few uh, leaves. So uh, for some reason, students commonly uh, refer to this as being a really good hedge, when in fact, it's really better used in more of a naturalized type setting. Uh, again, it's not a good plant for a super formal landscape. Uh, formal landscapes tend to be plants that have a finer texture that tolerate more uh, considerable pruning. This one, uh, the proper way to prune it is not to come in and lop off a top because as you can see, now I've got a long empty branch. Rather, the proper method for pruning would be to come in all the way as low as you can go and take the whole cane out, okay? So that is uh, the proper method for pruning something that has cane-like growth. As far as the identification, like other plants in Berberus, it has alternately arranged leaves. These are pinnately compound. And uh, so this, what I'm holding, is one leaf. Okay, so it's pinnately compound. It has three to seven leaflets. This one here has five leaflets. Okay, so you can see you have the peduncle down here. The rachis is the axis or the portion of the uh, stalk, leaf stalk from which the leaflets are born. And then you get these individual leaflets that have these spinose teeth on the outside. Again, a, a common trait in Berberidaceae, the Bur uh, Barberry family. These uh, armed spinose teeth. And it's also very coriaceous. So these two traits are similar to what we see in hollies. That's why it has the specific epithet aquifolium that literally translates as holly-like leaf, okay? It does have uh, bright yellow flowers that are similar to many in the Berberidaceae. They are very attractive to bees, uh, early season flowering. And then like other barberry family uh, uh, genera or species, it has these glaucous blue-black uh, fruit, we're past their prime, they're shriveled up, look like grapes, but still uh, it provides a little bit more of a season of interest. They are evergreen, uh, and but they will have a little bit of new growth, a uh, tinge of uh, purple, and they can in winter have a little bit of uh, purplish fall color as well, even though they are evergreen. So it should not be a tough one to ID with its pinnately compound leaves, its glaucous blue fruit, yellow flowers, and cane-like growth. Mahonia aquifolium.